So FAB, as we call it, Foundation for Art and Blockchain, we support um, artists working with blockchain and, um, through grants, promotion, credibility. Um, you can find our website as foundation4.art. Um, we are registered 501c3. Um, Let's see, our history, we began in 2018 um, at the Ethereal Summit here in New York. Um, a crypto kitty was sold for, um, I think it was one of the first ones to go for a fairly large amount that um, went into um, what became the Foundation for Art and Blockchain. It was a charity, um, a charity auction um, through kind of the course of the bear market. Um, we funded a few different initiatives. Um, we did an installation, a large installation at a, um, and and went through the process of getting our 501c3, which some of you may know is, um, is a long process and expensive. Um, I came on during kind of the, as 2020 came around and Ethereum went up, um, our fund grew. Um, and so I came on in July of last year to, um, to kind of grow our, our um, in different initiatives. Um, right now we, um, have a mint fund going where we support creators who apply to um, through our website, artists apply, um, and our board decides um, kind of where to distribute funding. Um, so I think last year we funded 12 different artists and um, we're looking to grow that. So um, when I started, I, I began talking to different people in the space about, you know, what's, what's important, where can a foundation fit in in the NFTs? Um, and to be clear, like our, our focus is really in the art space. Um, and so I spoke to a number of different academics that were doing a lot of writing and um, it became clear that there is a shortage of like art historical type, um, good writing that the traditional art world expects, um, but there's not a lot of it within the NFT space. And so um, one of our initiatives we're calling curatorial audits where um, kind of bringing a, like a museological perspective to um, different NFT projects. Um, we also have a, our Mint Fund, which I mentioned, where um, we're funding different artists and we're creating a DAO, um, whereas right now myself and our board um, decide where funding goes. Um, we want to, it doesn't feel very Web3, so um, we're democratizing that decision-making process while raising more funding at the same time. Um, we've spoken to a number of, of kind of established artists in the space. Um, so along with Artblocks Engine, we're, we're um, dropping a generative, um, a generative series um, by the artist Ipsketch, who has been featured in Artblocks Curated. Um, half of the funding will go into a DAO treasury where holders will be able to sponsor artists and decide um, where funding goes. Um, as a 501c3, those are um, tax deductible um, donations where you get a generative piece as well. Um, and um, yeah, so that's what we're most excited about. Um, we do, we've, we're working with a, um, a company in the space that does artist residencies. So we plan to kind of fill, funnel in um, artists that come through us into um, different residency opportunities. Um, number of different ways of funding um, artists. Um, an interesting part of our, of our drop is that your donation amount um, is actually one of the inputs um, into the algorithm that, um, that affects the output. So a higher donation amount might have different attributes. Um, it's just color based um, as this is like abstract generative art. Um, we're interested in education, um, so we've been working with some different um, like K through 12 art teachers on getting a curriculum going. Um, we have a couple other like, um, you know, large, um, large companies in the space that are also interested in helping us with that. Um, and then we'll do purchases and commissions as well to um, on kind of the re revenue generating side to uh, keep the DAO going. Um, but anyway, uh, any questions? Yeah, it is charitable. Yes, exactly. Um, where 
Yeah, so we're splitting proceeds with the artist. Um, where funding will go into a treasury where um, holders will be able to sponsor artists and um, you know offer initiatives. Right now, there's just a few of us that decide on what to do. Um, so we want to broaden our community um, and kind of like funding art through the sale of art. That's the idea. Yes. Um, we haven't, um, we actually we have, we've we funded two different PFP projects, um, but we funded musicians, photographers, um, so while we're interested in generative art and we have a nice relationship with art blocks um, right now, that um, we're very open um, to different mediums, yeah, yes. Um, education in like minting and selling. Yeah, um, so like um, I was at NFTLA a few weeks ago and have been, been speaking with an, um, an LAISD art teacher um, and she's already been working on a curriculum so I think we're going to help her fund that and, um, and um, you know it's still very early but um, the idea is to build curriculums around um, you know teaching kids how to mint and sell on marketplaces and use a wallet um, and then for older kids you know, working with code and generative art and um, AI. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So foundation4.art um, is our URL. Also fabdow.art, where we'll be having our sale um, in about a month um, using Art Blocks. And um, yeah. Thank you all.